What's up, everybody? Brett here, back today playing some more Battle Brothers. Thought I'd do the face cam today for the amazing battle we're about to embark on, the Blazing Sun Camp. You might notice I have hair now. I think it's an improvement. I just took off like a huge beard. A um, couple months worth of growth. To go and visit family in uh, Louisiana for Thanksgiving. They would not have wanted to uh, hug and kiss me with a big beard. But, alright, all that aside. You can see my beautiful face. You're going to see all of the uh, excitement and depression that goes through it. When we get wrecked in this fight. I'm excited about it though. I thought it was a fitting fight. This is what I have done. These are the changes that I have made. So, I am going to try and get some sick fire pots. The most elite units in the army are about to fight are going to be very hard to hit. Even at our advanced level, our brothers are not, at the end of the day, the highest quality bros. So, we're going to rely on alternate means to get them. We've got plenty of throwing weapons. I like the javelins. I like their reliability. Uh, if we had standard javelins, I might even switch them out, even just for that additional 5% chance to hit. But anyway, I'm going one less on the ranged, uh, in order to fit in our throwing weapon bros. And I think that's fine. Three throwing weapon bros, definitely more than the equivalent to one ranged character. And that allows me to go a little bit wider in the front line to protect ourselves. Mutar the Snake is a champion. He's a nomad leader champion. Alright guys, wish me luck. Let's do it. Oh, man. 26 of these bad boys. They've got an executioner up here. We kind of saw the gear they were rocking. A sick piece of armor is what's in our future. Expecting lots of aim shots from these guys. All right. Arcus's bone plating eats the first shot. And we're going to pass with everyone. They've got a lot of archers. Normally, not too scared of their archers. But in these numbers, they could be troublesome, especially if they focus fire the same brother. Wow, do they think they have the, the range advantage? They might. I mean, in sheer numbers, they do. If they force me to come to them, this could be a much messier fight. Wow. Okay, this... Alright, not quite. We're just going to keep passing. I'm hoping they're going to give me better targets. As always, my strat is going to be to weed out the weak ones first. Yeah, this guy, what a what a position. This would be a crazy strong position for like a pole arm, bro. All right, here comes Raziel, the Ghost of the Sands. Very cool name. I wanted to throw my fire pot sooner rather than later. I'm being very careful right now just because I don't want to pass anyone's turn. I will step forward here. Okay. I can step to here. And this is not really the throw that I'm looking for. It only hits three characters. No matter how I do it. I'm gonna do it anyway though. And I'm gonna step upwards instead of down. Those are kind of my options. Alright, I mean I'll take that. Let's see how they act. Alright, there's homeboy Mudar the Snake. He's a champion, so we don't have to worry about messing up his armor. Good damage. They're standing in the fire. We love to see it. Damn. Would have been nice to hit that. Step in there. I'll take the 55. Our chances to hit there were never going to be great. 
Take the twofer. Beautiful. Wasn't expecting to hit anything there. Need to make sure I'm leaving room for my squad in the front. Alright. Throwing more fire here. Rodrigo's going to come down here and play some reindeer games. And I want to be very careful about Reynold. I don't want to get him into a solo duel with this Executioner. I think he can win it. But it's kind of like one of those like at what cost type of wins. This will kill the guy in the front, but I'm kind of, I would rather hit that dude. Hit the Blade Dancer. See if we can get a 37. Alright, we're going to step in here for the line shot. Beautiful. He hit me in the... <laughs> Holy crap. His counterattack hit me in the head and he killed himself. That is amazing. I think I just needed to pause for a second to appreciate that. That is insane. I'm going to step in here, though it does leave me a little bit vulnerable to Mutar. But Mutar is currently wavering. I don't like that they're focusing Arcus. Alright, throwing some sand in my face. No big deal. Okay, and he's going to basically cut out Mutar. Which I'm happy with. I need to get my shields out this turn. I think this wall of fire that we've dropped is pretty sweet. Did he land the stun? No. Okay. If they don't come in, they stand in the fire. If they come in, they they meet the squad. And then we're happy either way. Also, it kind of adds another layer of protection against all of their archers. They have to shoot over their own men's heads. Okay. I'm going to go for the punctures here. Nearly finished him. Alright, let's get the kill. Alright, take the kill, get the reset. Not landing the easiest shots. Alright, that could hurt. Alright, Arcus manages to, to fade that. That hurts a little bit, mostly because of the overwhelm. Let's see what the Executioner does. Ooh, he goes down. Okay. Let's take that kill. Let's try and get this kill. Nice. I'm going to take the 81. Yeah. I had a feeling we were just going to get that. Excellent. I'm going to step in here. And let's get rid of this guy. Shoot for the threefer. Let's jump in there. If we finish him, we're in great shape. And we're happy. Step in there. I don't like our chances with Ulfric. I am going to do something I rarely do, and I'm going to opt to keep my shield hand free. Because we do so much damage. Yeah, we're not going to be able to switch. We need more action points. But with... The the sword here, which is essentially, you know, noble sword quality. We're getting that bonus 25% damage with a double grip, which I knew if I landed would be enough to kill them. So, that was pretty slick. It wasn't like a huge galaxy brain play, but it was still a pretty good one. Damn. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm throwing more fire. We're not playing around with these guys. They're scary. We missed some pretty decent chances to hit with our throwing weapons. But that was a pretty juicy toss. It let us hit... Who did we hit? We hit both of the officers, the leaders, as well as the dancer. I mean, I think that was pretty worth. I'm going to step in here just because I have the action points. It kind of puts Tiberius out. Hmm. 
Alright, we've left our back line somewhat exposed. Good dodge. Ooh, thank you, Jake. Oh, thank you, Tiberius. Alright, these have been some pretty good misses for us. As long as they don't stun me here, we should be able to get a round swing, maybe kill both of them. And now we're going to shoot into the back here. Not because I feel the archers are some huge threat, because they're they're probably the least threatening thing here. But because I think if I can... They're easy pickings. If I can kill them... Then I'll have uh, probably weakened the resolve of the rest of the guys. Yeah, not great odds there. We are going to start working our way around. Reynolds got a, a round swing if he wants it. That hurt. But at least he put himself back in the fire. This could be bad. Is that a stun? It was. Okay. That felt kind of bad. Yeah, I've got no good shots. I've got to step in. A 55 isn't great. These guys, man. The stats tell me one thing, but they're always so hard to hit. Now here's something I could do. I could intercept him into a, a 1v1. There we go. Alright, not terrible. I do not want to step in the fire. I'll wait. Nice. Happy to hit that. Missed those. Feels pretty bad. Those 255s. I think that's three in a row for Miguel. They're giving me some beautiful gunshots next turn. Yeah, we need to step in here with these two. Step in there as well. Alright, we're doing it. We're at full HP. This is too good of an attack to pass. And if we get on top of him, then he's not going to be able to use... Or he still will, of course, be able to use his abilities. But we're going to force him to do something like that. Instead of like using some triple attack on someone else. Alright, hit me point blank. Once again, Rodrigo fading those attacks. Let's see who Mutar goes for this turn. Ow. I think this is a case where... Man, we should just take two... Damn. That felt bad. Alright, at least we faded the second attack. Alright, Agile. Yes! We're getting very lucky. I mean, the stats are in our favor. Just as we're missing these, you know, 31s and such. They're missing their 40s. and Let's blast them there. Double stacks of bleed from a Cleaver Master is pretty damn sweet. And you know what? Let's try and get this kill. Fifty-six whiff whiff arena. All right, he's almost certainly got footwork. Nice, more bleed. All right, let's go for a line shot. Good kills. We're so exhausted on Rodrigo because we use those... Excuse me. We use those, uh... Adrenalines early on. I keep having, like, hiccups. I just ate lunch and I drank, like, Mexican Coke. 
If you ever had Mexican Coke, it tastes amazing. I don't drink soft drinks though, so it's like the first soft drink I've had in like years. I make an exception for Mexican Coke because they use uh they use real cane sugar. So we gotta be careful of this guy. He's got a coddle dagger. It can't puncture though, so he can't bypass my armor, which is nice. But he's not a pushover. Shoot in, hope to hit something. Ow. Ow. Alright, at least it spread some of the damage to his head. Missed a 65. That feels bad. Switch back to our crossbow. Wow. Come on, man. That's not good. Yeah, let's just switch it up. Nice. Nine lives triggered. We've got a chance to get rid of him now. More bleed. Do a 61 point blank. we got to get rid of that guy. Beautiful. Happy to not have a chance to get stabbed to death by him. And we'll move a little bit farther forward. We'll step in here. Go for the decapitation. You know what? I'm going to get my shield out. Since I can't attack again anyway, might as well do that. Feels good. Okay, can't move anyway. Don't even have to make a decision. Um, Let's get our spear out. Nice. I'd love to kill everyone here. Now, as awesome as this fight is, we did expend a lot of resources. Namely, grenades. Ooh, we're gonna get a zombie. That's pretty sweet. I don't even want this single Desert Stalker to escape. We're gonna drop dogs for sure. Let's get our sticker out. Yes, good bleed. Alright, if I jump here... Get him, Puppo. He's gonna have footwork, so, I mean... I need to expect him to be able to get away. Good shot. Nine lives. Excellent. Drop a dog. Executioner's going down too. Drop another dog. I'm hoping it goes for the Desert Stalker. Good hit. And let's see if Moody can maybe finish this guy. Yeah, he's going to finish him with the bleed, but... Step in there. We'll see. If they can hold him for one turn, we can get there. And if he routes, then he won't be able to use footwork. If nothing else, the guy has a war bow. That's very valuable, and I'd like to get it. Let's see what he does. He one-shot my dog, and then still runs. I didn't think it would be... I didn't think he'd be able to do that. I have lots of extra dogs. But that still sucks. And that did kind of up his confidence a little bit. Drop another dog. Good kill. 
Drop yet another dog. Probably gonna go to this guy. Yeah. Our brothers are exhausted. Probably gonna jump here. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Please don't kill another dog. My heart can't take it. It's still probably worth it though for a, or very close to worth it for a war bow. Assuming we get it, which is not a certainty. See, how in the heck did he like one shot my dog last time? He just completely bypassed the armor. We're just gonna move everyone this way. It's about the same speed as... Just ending their turn. Assuming I do it quickly. Alright, this is the main thing here. Just had to get these guys in. We're going to get a full surround with the last two dogs. Almost certainly, before anyone else gets a chance to come. Alright. As we just pass now, because everyone's moved to their fullest potential. He's going to get a chance to stab again. He's probably going to kill my dog this time. Nope, he whiffed again. Nice. He's still just getting warmed up. He's got to have a lot of fatigue. Wow, he's not even routing yet. Awesome. Kind of didn't expect Tung to land that. But he did. Trying to get some two-handers into position and not block them with other guys. Everyone else can kind of go, though. I was going to say, a hit there is a kill. He's bleeding, so, I mean, he's dead. The only question was whether or not he was going to take another dog with him, of course. Now, we know we're getting the legit piece of armor. The dog's going to take the kill, no doubt. But are we getting anything else? That's the real question. Oh my god, the suspense. Slow roll, slow roll. We did! We got two pieces of armor. And we got the cool, like, Blade Dancer's head wrap. Which I haven't gotten yet. And this proves the, uh, the information that I was given true. That even if you take it down to zero, you still get the armor. Nope, take it all. Hit the wrong button there. Alright. And we're going to look at those pieces of armor real quick, because those are amazing. We've already got two of the other kind. I think, don't we have two of these? Uh, so, one's on Jake. Who's wearing the other one? Ah, or Hamian. Okay. So, we're going to put this on someone. 356... Minus 33. And 333 minus 27. The Master Forge Lifesaver? It's worth nothing. And Asbjorn Bloodbeard's Defense. Interesting. I mean, we've got Frontliners still wearing scale and stuff like that. I think the priority should go to our Frontliners. To dudes like Wolf, Mael... Like, Wolf's wearing a 305. Let's give him the golden armor. It matches cool with his helmet. That's how I'm making that decision. Um, 
Because I have nothing else to put on it right now, I'm just going to put these metal joint covers. Alright. And then we also need to put the Master Forge lifesaver on someone. And it'll... Let's see. How much does it weigh again? 27? That's not that bad. Could go on Ulfric. Oh, man, that's my third set of this. I thought I only had two. Wow. Okay, I'm rolling in those. How heavy is this? 36? I mean, I have a few options, guys. What I'm looking at right now is stuff like my uh, extremely heavy coat of plates. On brothers who could really use it. Like, that's 340. 350, but it's extremely heavy. Could hook up Ulfric. Don't hate that. And this armor is very good. But I don't know if anyone can wear it. Just because of the sheer weight. And that was a lot of grenades. That we threw. So we're definitely going to want to re-equip those. But I only have so many. So we'll just re-equip whatever we have in our inventory right now. Just to clear some space. But what a great series of pickups. The padded male and Limlar Harbuck honestly could go on someone in the back who... Has the fatigue for it. That's a 26, this is a 36. So how much would we really be losing? 7. After mitigation. From, uh, from Brawny. He's the perfect brother for it, but unfortunately he just doesn't have the fatigue stat for it. Someone like Tuna can, though. This is a 36, 34, 42. Can Tuna can just straight up go beefy? Yes, he can. Wow, 36 to 42. And he barely lost anything there. Whereas this is a 26 to a 34. It's a little bit worse, but it's not bad. But who can we give the padded male and laminar to? Perhaps Logan? Yeah, Logan's got massive fatigue reserves. So let's give that to him. And then we can pass along this cell swords armor here. To who exactly? I mean, they're starting to kind of pass up Sergio from Splendor. Some trade-off here. But this does give initiative. I think we give this to Arizel. And just like that, we phased out of two very effective armors and into a whole other set. So good. I'm stoked, guys. We also got the Coddle Dagger. I think this is a time when we need to kind of repair. We're going to sell a lot of this stuff. It's all pretty worth. The music is bumping in my ear right now. And we did get both of the war bows. Awesome. I was so excited about the rare gear, I didn't even really stop to look at what the, uh, the not rare stuff was. But that was huge for us. And we're going to use up almost all of our tools. But I do want to go back here right now and see what the White Bones Hollow is shaping up to be. And I kind of also want to come right here just to make sure there's not some like weird islands here. Alright. Sometimes you can miss it by just a hair. Alright. Cross your fingers guys. Necrosavants. That's what we want. And this is kind of cool because it's giving us some time to heal. Repair. No. I'm going to pass. I'm going to leave this here. Almost certainly there's some unique loot there. It's such a huge fight. But for me, at this point, I would way rather have 
I think we take this fight as well. I would ra way rather have... Let's do... That Jebediah, yeah. I need the Necrosomance. I need, I need to kill him. I need the Shimmering Ash. We gotta advance the story somehow. Let's take this fight, though. We'll clear the desert. On the way back, make some money for our excursion. Only nine guys. They're gonna have to come to me. I pity them. They don't know the fight we just went through. Against a much more prepared warlord. Wow, that was not the shot I meant to take. But he still landed it. Alright, let's get this kill. Oh my god, Arizel. An uncharacteristic series of failings. From multiple bros. We're gonna send Rodrigo back there. Wow. Okay. How do you guys like the face cam? Can you like... Is it cooler when you can like really see my disappointment? And the slingers are going to step in. Just kind of looking over. That's where my webcam is over there. Trying to make sure there's not too much like uh... Like razzle dazzle going on in the background. My I'm in my bedroom office, so it's like it's not ideal for green screening, which is something I learned a little too late. My setup is pretty permanent. It's pretty good though. I mean I love my office. And I don't know what I could have done differently. I think it's just a lighting issue at this point. We'll just shoot off there. Okay. While they're doing that, I'm going to drink a little water. Before I ate my lunch, I went on a nice long walk. It was actually below freezing for the first time this year, this morning. And I woke up worried that like all my plants in my house were going to be dead. But they were not. I used to hear a tale that if you watered your plants before a frost, that they had a good likelihood of surviving. And while I did not personally water my plants this time, though I have done that in the past, they, uh, they were naturally watered. By the first bit of rain we've gotten in my part of Texas in a long time. Hmm, can we get in? Yes. Alright, cool. We're gonna go first here. But yeah, it's so sad, dude. My, my backyard used to be green. It's a lot of weeds. It's a lot of, like, Texas weeds. We'll run them down. Which, you know, certain types of weeds are actually kind of pretty and make for really decent grass. So we have this stuff called like pony foot. It's really soft. It makes these pretty little yellow flowers in the spring. That stuff I don't mind. But like this summer, everything died. My backyard, which is pretty big, is like dirt. Not completely, but... Might as well be. And it hurts my soul. For our trouble here, that was worth it. Food, money, some tradable supplies. And a little bit more experience. Has anyone leveled from those fights? No. Our Hamian should be close. Yes, he did level. Okay, awesome. So let's take one more point in melee skill for him. One more point in fatigue. He's got such good stats. I'll take one more in melee defense as well. Still holding my breath for a unique weapon of the mace slash two-handed flail variety. 
I haven't given up hope. We're going to see if we can't do an arena. Buy probably all the tools they have. Last time we were here, the bear hat said 24. Ifrits. For 2,800. And what is this one? I'll... I need to wait until the morning. For, for once, I'm remembering that I can't do an arena if I take the contracts. So let's do the arena first. We'll get those. The prices here are still insane. In the membrane. Insane. Got no brain. If you get that reference, then you are awesome. Okay, let's sell all our stuff. Sell the sham shear. We're going to sell the war bows as well. Southern mace. That did a lot of work for us back in the day. Could have kept the caudal dagger as a replacement for some of the daggers in my uh, kind of like offhand inventory. But the reason I keep those is for puncture. Which that dagger does not have. So the bear hat says 21. That's still a mighty good price. I'm going to sell everything. We're back up to 63k, which is sweet. Unfortunately, I've got to buy all the stuff here, even though it's vastly overpriced. Incense, not worth selling. Get some more food. Buy all the cheap stuff. And then let's just see what they have for offer at the Alchemist. Nothing that we need. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Even though it's expensive, I will buy two more fire pots. Oh, we did lose dogs. That's right. Let's just go through real quick. Check everybody's stuff. We'll do that over the net. Hmm. Did anyone else lose a dog? Because at this point, they're just like pure inventory space. Okay. Because I've got a bunch of extras. I don't believe I need these quivers of bolts. No, but I'm keeping them in case I want to switch around. Okay. And I have a signet ring that I need to sell too. And some paint. Which I could use on one of my full helms. You know what? Let's do that for fun. I don't know how fun it is, but it seems fun. Let's leave there. Let's go into our inventory. Whose are we going to paint? I don't know if it makes it gold. Does it also make it gold? Can you paint one of these? I don't think so. I think they're considered unique. For the purposes of paint. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. So now we've got twins here. Miguel and Jebediah. I'm going to say, we could probably even switch some shields around and give them the exact same shields. Uh, but we don't need to do all that. Um, we did, however, pick up another amazing set of armor, but we have no attachment for it. Um, and we're not going to be able to rem remedy that here. Unless there was an attachment here that I missed. There is not. Okay. Alright, arena time. Unhold. Only one? I don't think I've, I've seen this here. So, okay, let's let's read it. You're against one of what the northern scum refer to as an unhold. The vizier pays a proper pile of coin to get them here, and the masses love the giant bastards. They do a good job smashing fighters and, on occasion, heaving a warrior clear into the crowds. It's quite wonderful. I think some of the unholds even learn to enjoy it the longer they stay here. Like they learn what spurs the mob to cheers and jeer. The brutality is something else. Anyway, may the gilder watch over you. We'll slaughter them like lambs. It's only one. As long as he's not like a heavily armored northern unhold, we're probably fine. Yeah, we're going to put in Tiberius. Number one. We're going to put in Arcus as well. Number two. And then probably Moody. Yeah, Moody is very close. And we'll leave our inventory like that so I know exactly what to put where. Although it's not complicated, it's just some dogs. Let's do it.
Yeah, let's give him something to cheer for. I was seeing if that was something worth reading. I, I don't think so. And it's just a regular unhold. He's going to have a bad time. You know, we never really look at the crowd. Kind of a cool, interesting mix of, like, gear you'll never see. I recognize the helmets, cool jackets, but I don't think I've ever seen one of these. These, like, turbans. I wonder who wears those. That's a cool one, too. Alright, pass, pass. Yeah, it's not worth shooting. Come on in. Here's the deal. Once we start applying a ton of overwhelm, the fight is going to change drastically. There's one stack. Let's see what he does. Yeah, and if he can't land that, he's probably done. Alright, now we're going to go first again, but this time we're going to land a ton of of overwhelm three stacks he's not scared yet yeah I would have been shocked if he hit me shoot again if we land this he's gone easy money 1700 crowns for that are you not entertained all right we could go fight some ifrits this is the older contract, though. I'll accept this. And they sort of want me to go in a similar direction to where we went last time. Let's reorganize our group, though, first. Something like that. Let's re-equip. Alright. Re-equip, reorganize. And it wants me to go right back over here. That's fine. And then by the time we come out here, do this, go back, there'll probably be another arena for us to do. And then in that case, if we want to do the Ifrit fight, we can do that, come back, do another arena. We didn't get any of the buffs we were hoping to get. Let's see how strong this garrison is. A Mirror the Elusive, so... Another champion. Make sure my guys have their, uh, their gear on tight. Yeah, I like it. It's a good crew. The Wandering Kingdom. Wow, okay, they're going to make it more complicated. I like it. You charge the camp just in time to see a man in black clothes step out of one of the tents. He is shaking hands with the Nomad's leader, which is probably not the best sign. Both men pausing mid-handshake and staring at your attack is presumably just a sour result. The Nomad leader calls out demanding his assassins earn their keep. The blackened killer nods and draws out a blade, and a troop of fellow assassins stream out of the tent and turn to join the nomads in the battle. Hell yeah. I was about to say, even, even this was not going to be much of a challenge, but add a few assassins. I thought they were just going to be one. Add a few of these bad boys, and we have a real fight now. Smaller than our last fight, by just a few numbers, and, I, and definitely less deadly, but not by much. Let's see how they move. I'm tempted to use more fire pots here. We'll just see what kind of blobs they give me. It'll be it'll be fire pots of opportunity. But we do have our shields already equipped, so we're not going to have that kind of free roll toss that we did last time. I'm hoping they spend some more time shooting at brothers with shields than brothers without. As they weirdly sometimes do. And they're going to give me some clear shots this time. All right. Get a little more water. Lips get dry after going outside, they're coming back in, talking a whole bunch. Okay, quality miss. And another set of the same armor. Alright, I'll take it. I mean, we're, we're slowly phasing out all of our worst armors. Which really aren't that bad. Alright, here we go. I'll take that. That guy back here like felt that. You ever see a guy get kicked in the in the groin? 
and you just feel it. That's what that's what these dudes are feeling. They're like, oh no. All right, let's blast them. I was really hoping to get that kill and get the reset, the easy reset. I'll wait here. Step here for the line swing. We'll step in here. They've got lots of whips, which is interesting. I'm going to go first. And we are just cutting down their front line. So when the assassins, when the champion, when all of them come in, they're basically like coming into nothing. No support. Step in there. Alright, I'll take a 47. So they have three assassins. Two of them using sham shears, one of them using a coddle dagger. Getting paranoid that I'm like moving off screen. But I don't even think that's possible. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. I'm good where I'm at. Okay. I'm going to step in there. And I'm going to step in here too. And I'm going to use Indomitable. Something that I don't get a chance to use very often anymore. Step in here. The Assassins are coming right up the center though. We're going to need to throw Ulfric in front of them. They've also got potions. Or like fire pots. This could be an excellent spot for a grenade. And if we can hold them here. Even better. If they make a choke point for me, that would be pretty sick. They took away my sword. That's alright, because we already attacked with it. Yeah, just don't take this sword. Alright. Go for the puncture. Good punctures from Tiberius. Alright, that's a little scary, but... We've seen worse. Good hit. Mess this dude up a little bit before his chance to attack. I'm gonna take those 46s. And let's shoot in here. Good damage to those three. If I step in... Oh, I can still shoot. Excellent. I didn't expect that I would be able to. So let's shoot here. Hope to get that hit. It's a 21. Let's take the 44 back there. And you know what? That's Ack. His accuracy is not going to be the best anyway. So let's just step in and get him involved in the fight. I'll take this 75 percenter here. Alright. That did take all of my... We're going to step in as well. That took... Because shields don't count, it took all of my... Uh, my action points. Okay, we went for the round swing, didn't get it. Go for another one. And this guy resisted. Good for him. Go for the decapitation, didn't get it. Ah, oh, that's pretty unlucky. Sword comes back. Yeah, that hurts. What I don't want to see is the fire pots that they're currently using. And they're footworking their way into my backfield. We can step back. Yeah, we needed to throw the grenade last turn. Oh, nice zombie. Wasn't expecting that. Should have been, though. This is pretty scary. Wow, didn't expect him to be so aggressive. I did leave, like, a big hole in the front line. But they stepped right in. Oh my god, the stun. 
The zombie's taking a lot of heat for us, though. Okay. We're gonna back up. Try to shoot him in the face. Getting that puncture would have gotten us a kill and another zombie. Good hit. We'll take the 67. This guy is holding. And it doesn't feel like he should be. That's at least footwork to get out of the fire. And we'll throw the fire pot there. Our big problem was because we had throwing weapons in our hand, which we could have switched out to a sword, they were able to step past me. I think that was the real issue. All right. Step in there. And I think we honestly can afford to stay in the fire. Not that we have to. All right, we can switch weapons and then get out of the fire. That feels pretty good. Reynolds miss there feels pretty bad. He's dazed, so I mean his fatigue is wrecked, his damage is wrecked, his initiative is wrecked. Go for the line shot. Nice, and we still hit. Alright. We've got options here. I'm gonna... I should have just ignored him. I could have made it to the archers if I had tried that first. It's not ideal, but I think our heavy armor saves us from a sham shear. This is what's bad. I could have rotated uh, Tongue instead of rotating uh, Aerosol. I noticed that like as soon as I did it. And I was like, well, that was a mistake. We could try and dodge out of there, but I think that's a pretty big mistake also. Let's see what happens. I think we've got one more turn with Tongue. We're going to take a little fire damage. Alright, let's see if they throw these grenades. Yes, attack the zombies. Alright, it's all about what this guy does. Thankfully hit me in the head, but then throws another fire pot. They're making this fight pretty messy. Damn, again. The stuns. We gotta get this dude out of our back line. Good hit. Okay. 74%. He's almost gone. Alright, alright. That hurt a little bit. I thought we would... I don't know why I thought he had rotate, but he does not. So we'll step in here. And unfortunately, Edgel hasn't landed any attacks either. And the 15% chance lands! Against all odds. And Tongue, the only person I was really concerned about, is going to be able to get out just fine. That feels good. And routing both of those guys is pretty sweet as well. That's still pretty annoying. Yeah. I'm going to totally disrespect his whip. Nice. He could still get shot, though. Let's hope they don't aim for him. Ah, uh, we'll stay there. That's as fine a spot as any, I think. We're sort of waiting for the fires to clear, but one of the assassins is gone. Which allows me to do that. I 
Man, what a series of desert fights. Just don't kill Tongue, man. He's got Nimble, so his HP goes a little bit farther than most. And he's actually wearing gear that's pretty suitable to a Nimble build, unlike some of our other Nimble bros. Finally. We'll make sure we step out there. No point in risking anything, let's just keep going back. This is still pretty scary, but I've decided to bring more brothers to that fight. I don't have any good options, we'll just shoot in. Nice. Very good. Go for a decapitate. We wrecked him. Okay. I wanted to go for that kill over doing damage here. Because I wanted to potentially freak him out. Nice. Move forward, even incrementally is still fine. Step here. See if I can't get onto these other archers. The champion's running. I mean, that's huge. All the fires dissipated. The archers that can run will run. Oh my god, more fire. This has been quite the series of annoying circumstances here. Alright, and we whiff. We missed a 91% just now. By the way. Alright, there's nine lives. I'm just going to keep running back. We need that kill just so we can step in. Alright, down you go. And money in the bank. I wish you would tell me here how much money it gives me. I have to assume that those guys are pretty high tier. And they probably pay out the maximum. Is it 600? Something like that? I don't remember off the top of my head. Perhaps one of you guys can let me know in the comment section how my goal changed from before the fight to after. That's really all the verification you need. Alright, one assassin left. He's got a path out with footwork. But he does not take it. Instead, goes on the offensive. Step in there. Step in here. Step there. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, we just need to land one of these hits, and this guy's probably Gonzo. And he is, of course. Man, what excellent gear should I expect to get from this fight? We got another one of those sets of armor. That's huge. But how clutch would it be if we got another set? Or a helmet or something? I will say, though, for the most part, full helms are pretty adequate. Could be trying to run these dudes down, but there's really no point. Alright. The armor is ours. Sir Kunibert's Ward. 330, 34. That looks pretty suitable for more of our crossbowmen. And no other excellent loot, sadly. I mean, fine loot, but not, you know. It is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers. We're not beggars, though. We're not beggars. But another excellent set of armor. We'll have four of these now. 
Who are we giving this one to? It's a 330. We need more attachments. Now I kind of regret all the times where we didn't wreck the unholds as soon as we saw them. Um, we've got frontliners still wearing heavy, heavy coat of plates. I think that's our priority. Like that's a 340 for 42. It's a 350 for 44. No, it's it's going to be one of these, probably. The, one of these coat of plates with the snakes on it, I think. Or no, it's going to be uh, this one here. So, Miguel. But that's so heavy. I don't know if any of our backliners really want to be in minus 45. Like, he doesn't really have it. In terms of fatigue, what he needs to be able to pull that off. Logan does. He could just straight up wear the heaviest set that we can give him. And that does sort of free up the padded mail, I suppose. We're doing the dance again all the way down. Give Aerosel that. That does sort of wreck his fatigue. Give that to Yaku. It's a 270 over a 290. Yeah. Does that completely get me out of scale? In terms of, you know, the smaller scale armor? That's a coat of scales. Um, yeah, I think it does. But I need some quality attachments now. The Linworm scale cloak is being saved. What I need are, like, unhold. I need bone plating. I need to, uh, not add any more fatigue to, wait, let's see what this, what these guys are. Any more fatigue to the armors that I have. Alright, and kind of as predicted, we're going to get there. We unfortunately got rid of their ambush trade route, so the prices are going to be a little bit worse. Walking about Al Hazred with a few cell swords, you turn a corner to find an opulent man surrounded by thieves and bandits. They look over their shoulders and widen their eyes. One nicks the merchant on the cheek. All right, we'll get you next time, you bastard. The scoundrels quickly make their leave. A moment later, and the merchant's heavily armed guards appear. Nursing his wound, he starts yelling at them. What am I paying you for, you sorry bastards? The second I get into trouble and you're nowhere to be seen. Look at this man here. That's who I should be paying. Hey, take this for your trouble, stranger. The merchant throws you a satchel of crowns for your trouble, though all you did was turn a corner and run into a coincidence. <laughs> well, okay. Alright, we'll camp here. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the tools to finish repairing, and I doubt that they have received any new stuff since last we were here. And they have not. And their prices are bound to be worse, although still good. Yeah, 19. So we'll sell. The problem is we keep picking up these huge pieces of armor that need to be completely re, uh, revamped. Okay. And we could probably sell incense somewhere else. Check the weaponsmith. We'll check the places. But we want to just do one more of these. A worm? Your opponent is a... A what is it? A worm? It's green? Never seen a worm that color. Oh, a worm with a Y. No, wait, worm. Worm? A linworm. It gots to be honest with you. I don't know what the hell it is, but I imagine our dear matchmakers won't be having you fighting a worm of the regular sort. Or maybe they is. Maybe they'll just have you eat it for our entertainment. Maybe they ain't matchmakers, but tastemakers. All right. I see the jokes. One linworm. I accept. That might be the craziest thing we've fought in the arena. I'm pretty stoked about that. Arcus's armor is pretty messed up. I do kind of want to use the same crew because I, I think he's one fight away from being an arena master. I think Overwhelm will be great versus the Worm. As will Puncture. Yeah, I think we just go with the same crew. 
Uh, we could just very easily... I mean, we could switch his armor out with literally anyone's. For the purpose of survivability... Oh, man, I forgot how awesome Edgel looks. What does our boy here look like? Arcus, yeah. Son of the South. All right. Yeah, we're good to go. Let us do it. Actually, you know what? This is a really cool fight. Let's let's save in case this is something that we want to like. Uh, I don't know. Try again if it's too hard. It could be super hard. I could be really underestimating uh, the difficulty of this, or overestimating three brothers' abilities to kill a linworm. But look at Arizel in his shiny new armor. Nice. Man, any damage we do ahead of time is going to be sweet. It should be in here this turn. Yep, here comes the tail. The tail being dangerous for its AoE. Alright. Go for the puncture. Man, that didn't do very much at all. That hurt. The axe is what we really need to do the big damage. It hits both head and body. Alright, now armor is going to be trash from this. Could have put on a Linworm helmet. Oh, we missed a golden opportunity. We should have let Mael fight this. Well, don't I feel dumb. Ooh, and the stun landed there. Alright, overwhelm. Lots of overwhelm. Switch. There we go. Thankfully, the head is missing, but he landed another stun. Even through all of the overwhelm. But, wait, are we still wearing the can't be stunned necklace? Is that why we're still attacking? I just thought it wouldn't let you apply the stun. I didn't think it would, uh, like, apply it and then take it off. Thankfully, we finished that fight. Before all of our armor was destroyed. And Arcus is now an arena veteran. Very cool. And we get paid a hefty sum for that. So let's give Edgel back his armor trash. Sorry, bro. And let's put in Mile. Let him duke it out. Alright. And having a ranged character against the Linworm was also pretty clutch. Nope, you need the necklace. As it made it so that they couldn't as easily splash everyone with poison. Alright, are we good? Just checking gears real quick. We're pretty much at the end of today's episode. But we could also take this contract here to go and destroy Ifrit's. Have we found them? I think we have. I hope we have and we're not getting like severely distracted. You know what? I'm not going to pass up a fight like this. Probably by the time we're done with this fight though, we'll be done for the day. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the two crazy desert fights that we did. And fighting a Linworm and an Unhold in the arena is pretty, pretty new for us too. I wonder if it has something to do with our renown, or if it has something to do with our um, our levels, or if it has something to do with the day that it is, or some combination of all three. I don't know what triggers certain fights, but I will say I'm also a little bit disappointed that at this point in our campaign, we have done a lot of arenas, but we still do not have uh, the experience of doing one of the big arena battles, like the gauntlets, which is something that I would like to do.
All right, obviously we are dismantling these guys. All right. We'll shoot in here. We just need one hit to kill them. All right, quality. Quality miss. We used adrenaline, but we didn't really need to. I didn't think we'd be able to get all those kills. But we did. Will these two guys come in, though? That's the question. The furniture is blocking me. And the thing is, I don't know if they will. So we'll just step in. I'm not scared of the whip. Good hit. May get stunned here. Nope, it's going to throw dirt in my face. Step in with everyone who can step in. I'll take the 70 that leads to a kill. Man, we badly need attachments. But that's a good problem to have. All that really means is we've got so much good armor that we don't even have enough things to put on it. Normally I'm drowning in attachments. There was a while back where we walked by a huge group of wolves we could have killed. Now I'm kind of regretting that. But we needed the inventory space. We'll run him down. Come on, just... Let me crush him. There we go. And a decapitation to round it all off. And yeah, we don't, we don't pass fights like that. Just too lucrative. Um, we need the food, we need, I mean, we need everything. A few corpses in the sands. Some have slid halfway down a dune. Another rests at the base. Another far from the base. Seemingly thrown that way. The bodies being uncovered by the sands hints at some recency in the deaths. It seems whatever attacked the people pulverized them with incredible force, then spent a brief time mutilating what was left. Sanding the flesh down to the bone in spots. The efforts must be close. Man, if they do that to people... Why are we fighting them again? I'm anticipating a pretty small group. Oh, no. Okay. In the 20s, probably. For the amount that we're being paid. 32? Okay. That's still... We've, we've had that fight before. We've crushed it. Guys, I'm going to call it here. We'll pick up tomorrow with an Ifrit fight followed by a... Um, a good arena battle. And then we'll have to hightail it out of here. We might go east to Goldfest, buy whatever we can, and then go back south and check on the White Bones Hollow and see, maybe just take like a really circumspect route here and see if we could scare up any more ancient dead fights. But we need to go somewhere where we can get more tools. That's the biggest thing. And we're going to need even more tools after we fight a bunch of Ifrits. I need ammo. I need food. I need everything. So, really good episode today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We picked up a lot of fun stuff. Um... Yeah, and just good fights with unique enemies and unique ways. What more can you ask for? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Brett. Channel's Good Talk Gaming. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, y'all.